Hi friends, welcome to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name is Abby and today we'll be reviewing the medication Dobutamine. We'll start by reviewing Dobutamine, then we'll work through an NCLEX next generation style practice question together to lock all of that information in. Let's get started. Dobutamine is a medication primarily used to treat hypotension from cardiac conditions such as heart failure and cardiogenic shock. It is commonly used in the short term when the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet the body's demands. Dobutamine is in a drug class known as sympathomimetics, which mimic the effects of the sympathetic nervous system. Dobutamine works by stimulating beta-1 adrenergic receptors, which are found primarily in the heart, leading to an increased heart rate and contractility. This results in increased cardiac output, which improves blood flow, and protects organs from damage when the heart's ability to pump is compromised due to conditions such as heart failure. If you're giving IV dobutamine for severe hypotension, you'll probably be adjusting the dose according to the client's blood pressure. This can be as often as every few minutes, so this client should definitely be in the ICU. Now let's take a peek at side effects and contraindications. Common side effects of dobutamine include increased heart rate, palpitations, headache, and nausea. Although it is rare, dysrhythmias can occur, so this client will need continuous cardiac monitoring. Dobutamine is contraindicated in clients with a hypersensitivity to the medication, severe hypertension, and other cardiac conditions such as idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis and tachydysrhythmias. One thing to keep in mind, dobutamine should be used with caution in clients with pre-existing cardiac conditions, and it is generally not used for long-term management of heart failure. Great job reviewing dobutamine. Let's work through a practice question together. A client has been diagnosed with acute decompensated heart failure. They've been prescribed a continuous dobutamine infusion as a method of treatment. Which of the following nursing interventions is essential when administering dobutamine? 1. Begin continuous blood pressure monitoring. 2. Check peripheral pulses bilaterally every shift. Measure apical pulse every 4 hours. Or 4. Measure blood glucoses regularly. Go ahead and press pause, make your choices, and when you're ready, press play and we can review together. Ready to review? Let's begin. You've got this. Are there any immediate red flags that you think of when you look at these answer choices? I'm wanting to pay attention to our client's cardiac status. Remember those side effects we discussed? Increased heart rate, palpitations, blood pressure changes, and arrhythmias. Right now, number one is looking pretty promising, but let's review the other answer choices before making a final decision. Two, check peripheral pulses bilaterally once a shift. While this is an important part of the nursing assessment and should be assessed every shift to monitor peripheral perfusion, it is not the most essential intervention at this time, and it is not the most effective way to assess systemic blood flow. Moving on to option number three, measure an apical pulse every four hours. While measuring an apical pulse can be useful, it is not essential to the administration of dobutamine. The client will require continuous cardiac monitoring to make sure they don't develop dysrhythmias with the medication. Last answer choice four, monitor blood glucose levels regularly. While monitoring blood glucose levels is important in certain clients, it is not directly related to the administration of dobutamine. So the correct answer choice is number one, begin continuous blood pressure monitoring. Most dobutamine infusions are titrated based on the client's blood pressure. So continuous blood pressure monitoring is essential. Great work. Here are our references. As always, thank you so much for reviewing this topic with me. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all Blueprint Nursing content and check out our TikTok live study sessions, crash course, and live study groups. See you next time.